All right, now let's talk about the election coming up in just 25 days. We have Nancy Hernandez with the Metropolitan Milwaukee Association of Commerce and Eloise Gomez with the League of Women Voters. Thank you both for being here. Let's start with Nancy. Uh, tell us about voter turnout in the Hispanic community. Uh, thanks, Charles and Shannon. So happy to be here with you. So despite um, our near south side being one of the densest, densely populated areas of actually of the state, we still historically have had low voter turnout there. Um, and certainly these past elections in the spring with its challenges weren't much different. You've seen a steady increase in those areas, but certainly not one with the burgeoning Hispanic population. We have a very young population. So uh, many people every year uh, are able to vote. Um, we definitely want to see those numbers higher. Hispanic Collaborative is hoping that we'll have 5,000 more Latino voters regionally here uh, than we have in the past presidential election. And Nancy, is that due to what you believe will be a lot of young voters going to the polls or an overall generational uh, viewpoint of people going to the polls in the Hispanic community? Yeah, so definitely young voters is the uh, focus to engage new voters. We think that uh, new voters, um, if we engage them early, that we'll have voters for life. And that's certainly what we want to see, as your last segment pointed out, making sure that the Latino voice is at every table and the voting table in America is one of the biggest, um, is really a goal uh, to ensure that, uh, you know, the policies in, that affect our lives, our quality of life, that we have say and input into those. Eloisa, we have seen the pandemic impact everything and everyone in how they do things. What has been the challenge to reach out to voters to make sure they have the resources they need to vote? Well, uh, you know, the pandemic has really thrown a curve into the whole process of, of grabbing the attention of our Latino community. Um, one of the biggest things that uh, is important to do the outreach to reach the Latino uh, community is providing bilingual information, in particular in Spanish to the community. We need to also figure out how to better market to the community. I don't think that um, in recent years or really in the past that we've been marketing appropriately to reach the community. For example, a lot of our community doesn't necessarily speak Spanish, but I think providing information in Spanish is a good thing for those that need it. And it's also kind of a code message that we care about the community. And so I'm really happy that the League of Women Voter, uh, Voters has provided a lot of investment into translating materials to reach them. But, you know, there's so much other needs that uh, some of our community has. Mentioning the pandemic is just one area that is uh, a, a focus in their lives right now. And I think we have that challenge to um, both support the needs that they have, as well as to remind them about what voting can do for our community overall. So it appears what you're saying is that the women of Le the League of Women Voters has been more inclusive in trying to get that message out to the community? Really, it has. I mean, there aren't a lot of uh, resources, nonpartisan resources, that is, um, to the community bilingually. And if you go onto the league's statewide website, you're going to find a plethora of information. In addition, vote411.org, one of the big messages um, I heard pre-pandemic from uh, individuals that I was meeting on a daily basis was, where is the information in Spanish regarding the candidates? Uh, I just need nonpartisan information on them in Spanish. And the league now provides that nationally through vote411.org. That's good to know. Eloisa Gomez and Nancy Hernandez, thank you very much for being here and helping our viewers understand all of this. Thank you thank for. You. As always, you can find our latest election stories and voting resources on our website at tmj4.com slash decision 2020.